G'day and welcome to this video demonstration on the easiest way to print to branch offices using the ThinPrint Hub. Today we've also got the added challenge in that our print server is hosted in AWS, but our remote branch office is hiding behind a mast uh, network. Uh, so we're going to send the print job uh, outside of the terminal server session uh, over the internet. Um, so it's printed via TCP using the thin print secure tunnel and uh, therefore as you can see there's uh, no need for any uh, VPN connections or anything like that in order to print to remote sites. So let's uh, have a look at the thin print hub's configuration. Um, now if we uh, go here uh, the connection service it comes embedded in the firmware for all thin print hubs uh, and uh, this is just the public IP address of my AWS uh, server which is hosting the connection service and if we have a look at our uh, server here at our connection service you can see that it recognizes my thinprint hub and we've assigned a client ID number 88 and that's going to be used in the naming of the print queues in order to target this device uh, now if we move across to the printers tab, this is where you would configure all your printers um, for the remote branch office. It doesn't matter whether it's behind a master network or not. Uh, you can see there's no, um, uh, there aren't, it's, there's not much to the configuration. This is a solid state device. There's uh, no drivers installed on it. Um, there, it's basically, it's just a solid black box which can sit somewhere near the printers at the remote site. It requires no technical knowledge from the end user. Um, all they just got to do is plug it in um, and, and power it on uh, and connect it up to a LAN port. So usually the IT administrator can configure them and then send them off to the remote site. Uh, and then they're able to access them and configure them uh, here using, uh, using a web interface. So uh, this is pretty handy, um, especially if you, if you don't have any technical expertise at the remote sites. Um, all, that's, uh, all that I've done here is I've entered the printer name uh, and the IP address of the printer. You can see it's also uh, picking up um, a status check of the printer. And the ID of this print queue is number one. So this is also something that we're going to take into account in the naming of the print queue. So now let's head over to our central print server in AWS and um, it's uh, going to be pretty quick and straightforward. Obviously the central print server has thin print engine installed on it. We have a connection service port configured and I'm just going to create, I've just created a queue. I've selected that particular port. Uh, here's the driver. All right, and I'll call it whatever I want. And then we have the hash. So we're using the thin print naming convention. And then it's going to be the ID of the client, which in this case was 88, if you remember, and then the a semicolon or a colon, and then the ID of the print queue, which is number one in this occasion. And after we do that, if I print a test page, you should be able to hear the printer come to life behind me here in the remote office and I'm sure you'd agree that that's pretty quick for a job that has just been sent over the internet outside of the terminal server session. And uh, just another uh, if uh, audible cues aren't enough evidence, we also have here on the ThinPrint Hub we've got some logging and you'll see that it shows that I've just uh, printed out uh, one of these uh, test pages again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, once you've got that queue created, you can then share it into users terminal server sessions. Uh, there are other features um, to manage your print drivers uh, as well with ThinPrint. So feel free to have a chat to one of our uh, ThinPrint consultants to explain some more to you about that. Thank you very much.